So a story you saw first on 7, Michigan State Troopers are now taking over the investigation into the death of a sexual assault suspect who died after being tased by police. 7 Action News reporter Mike Wolfolk has that story now from Gibraltar. This investigation is now in the hands of Michigan State Police and right now they are very tight-lipped about information. Gibraltar's police chief Larry Wilson also guarding information, but he does say tonight he is confident his officer did nothing wrong in using his taser. Uh, verbal commands were not met uh, at that choice. There, at that point, there was no choice but to deploy a taser. The chief is talking about the incident that happened here at the Gibraltar Shores Apartments Thursday morning. Described as normally quiet, this complex was anything but on Thursday. Officers responded to a report of an assault in progress in the 1400 block of uh, Gibraltar Road. It was uh, probably the cops in there tussling with the guy, telling him to get down and stuff, you know, under arrest. Eric Stinninger is a neighbor. He lives right across the hall and says two children were hysterical and the woman also was upset. He says the incident was surprising. They seemed like a happy couple. I only met them a couple of times, talked to them a little bit and said, you know, maybe come down and cook some food and hang out. But that was about it. I only talked to him once or twice. Sources tell Action News this was a sexual assault that was taking place and the suspect was the victim's boyfriend. Chief Williams says his officers repeatedly ordered the suspect to stop. He says the man was tased when he would not comply. Then the suspect began to exhibit a medical condition uh, where he was then transported to South Shore Medical Hospital uh, where he was later pronounced dead. The officer who tased the suspect remains on paid administrative leave until Michigan State Police completes an investigation. So far, police have not released the names of the suspect who died or the officer who tased him. And we put in a request for the 911 call reporting that assault on Thursday morning. We were told by Lieutenant Michael Shaw of Michigan State Police it would not be released due to the pending investigation. We're in Gibraltar. Mike Wolfolk, 7 Action News.